Great game design is timeless, so in that sense, games that were excellent 20 or even 30 years ago will still be excellent. But there are other things that contribute to a video game that do become dated as time progresses, whether that's visuals, the quality of voice acting, the UI, the writing and storytelling, or even at times mechanics that just don't hold up very well anymore. Many of those things often come together in games that may have been stellar when we first played them, but just don't hold up as well anymore. This is a feature about 14 such games. GoldenEye 007 as far as its legacy is concerned, GoldenEye 007 on the N64 as one of the first good shooters on a console will always remain untouched, but in terms of sheer quality, the game has not aged very well. Aiming and controls are a bit of a nightmare by modern standards, owing to the N64 controller limitations, and it's something that obviously affects the entire experience. Meanwhile, much like many other games from the N64 and PS1 era, many of which will be on this list, GoldenEye's visuals do not hold up very well either, and the mucky quality of draw distances and textures often gets in the way of the action. Resident Evil Resident Evil spawned one of the greatest franchises this industry has ever seen, and popularized a genre that remains a major fixture today. But going back to the game is a bit of an exercise in patience. The stiff tank controls and the fixed camera are often working against you, while the quality of the visuals, the writing, and the voice acting seems beyond campy. There's also the fact that the vastly superior Resident Evil remake rendered the original almost entirely obsolete, so there's really no reason to go back to the PS1 classic anymore. Metroid Metroid was a groundbreaking game when it first came out on the NES, wowing audiences with its focus on exploration and its blend of puzzle solving, platforming, and combat. But a lot of the game's design was flat out obtuse, which may have been tolerable then but just doesn't cut it anymore. Secrets are often hidden in the most arbitrary ways, essentially boiling down to you bombing every single pixel on the screen in a room, while other quality of life issues, such as the lack of a map to help you keep track of all of the areas that you've explored, further makes the experience seem that much more dated. Mass Effect Mass Effect is one of the most recent games on this list, but it definitely deserves a place here. Make no mistake. The things that we all loved about it most when it launched over a decade ago hold up even to this day, from its lovable ensemble cast and its rich, dense lore and world building, to its excellent narrative and its engaging choice and consequence driven gameplay. But the actual moment to moment gameplay is a slog. The combat in the game is rough, while the Mako sections are an absolute nightmare. Can you imagine a Mass Effect remake that keeps everything from the original intact while using the combat from Mass Effect 2 and 3? Well, that game would be perfect. The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion Bethesda Game Studios' titles have a tendency to age faster than most other games, owing to the fact that they already seem to be lagging behind competition from a technical perspective even when they launch. Oblivion is a prime example of that. Its vast open world ripe for exploration is still impressive, but other aspects of the game have aged poorly. The combat is floaty, the production qualities in visuals, animations, and voice acting are subpar, while the radiant AI that impressed us so much back in 2006 seems hilariously random now. Silent Hill Silent Hill stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with Resident Evil as one of the most beloved survival horror franchises today, and just like Capcom's franchise, Konami's first outing with their own series also has not stood the test of time. This is a game that relies heavily on narrative and writing, and both seem shoddy by today's standards. While issues with controls, visuals, and other problems that go hand-in-hand -hand with games on the PS1's era also plague the system. Twisted Metal 2 Twisted Metal 2 ranks as one of the best PlayStation 1 games to this day, but time has not been very kind to it. The vehicle combat and environments that wowed us all with their panache back in 1996 now seem pedestrian, while the game's visuals too seem incredibly blocky and pixelated. They're still fun to be had here, of course, and Twisted Metal 2's core essence remains enjoyable, but the game isn't nearly as impressive as it was many years ago. Donkey Kong 64 Donkey Kong 64 having aged poorly is mostly down to one single fact, that from a pure design perspective, the game can be incredibly frustrating. 
Replaying through levels again and again as different characters was annoying even when the game first launched, but now it seems actively obnoxious, especially in light of the complete lack of quality of life measures thrown in to make that aspect of the game a bit smoother. The core platforming is still fun for the most part, but if you're looking for a classic Donkey Kong game to go back to, you'll probably be better served with the older country titles. Grand Theft Auto 3 Grand Theft Auto 3 has aged better than a lot of other games on this list, in that simply mucking about and wreaking havoc in the open world of Liberty City is still a heck of a lot of fun. But the allure of the game back in 2001 was in the vast, completely open sandbox it offered players, which is something that's become a very common sight in games now. Thanks to a plethora of improvements made to the open world formula by various games and developers over the years, Grand Theft Auto 3 in retrospect feels a bit bare bones. Add to that minor annoyances like a mute protagonist or not being able to swim, and the game definitely comes across as a product of its time. Half-Life Half-Life blew us all away with its tight, linear level design, its tense combat encounters, and its accomplished storytelling back when it first came out. But those things were, quite simply, a product of their time. What was impressive back then is barely the baseline now, and in hindsight, Half-Life now seems like a functional yet ordinary game at best. Nothing will take away from its legacy, though, and even these issues exist only because of advancements that shooters and games have made while standing on the shoulders of giants like Half-Life. Sonic Adventure Sega's iconic hedgehog made the jump to 3D with Sonic Adventure, and even though it wasn't considered as big a leap for the franchise as, say, Super Mario 64 was for Mario, it was still considered to be a very enjoyable platforming experience. As time has gone on, Sonic Adventure has only looked worse and worse in retrospect. A bad story and bad voice acting are, sadly enough, to be expected in Sonic games, but even beyond that, negotiating with the game's eccentric camera and its unintuitive controls often make the experience more of a chore than really anything else. System Shock With its unsettling atmosphere, its captivating setting, and gameplay that holds up even today, System Shock is rightly considered one of the best games ever made, and its impact is being felt in similar games even now. But going back to it requires a lot of patience. Understandably, the visuals don't hold up well at all, but even more troublesome is the game's UI, which is a big, clunky, unwieldy mess. Here's hoping the upcoming remake can successfully modernize this classic. Perfect Dark Perfect Dark, just like GoldenEye 007, is considered one of the greatest N64 games ever, being another one of the very first shooters to be done right on consoles. But it shares a lot of issues with GoldenEye as well. The N64 controller makes controls and aiming stiff and awkward, while the visuals themselves can look incredibly muddy and blocky at times. F-Zero F-Zero's main selling point has always been its incredible sense of speed, and the series' debut did accomplish that the best that it could with the technology it had to work with. In retrospect, though, the game has been rendered pretty much obsolete, with multiple sequels and other similar games from other developers proving to be much more accomplished in many ways. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.